welcome to Enjoy Your Blended Family with a little Fun Friday episode. Today's episode is going to be another good one. I feel a little biased because we say that about everyone, but I really believe this one is because this one talks about the Adventure Challenge, and this was actually another scratch-off we had. So we're kind of bringing that information to you, to the table. That way, maybe it'll spark an idea in you that you and your spouse can do or have fun with it and just grab some valuable, fun information. So stay tuned. This is going to be another great episode. All right, let's get started. First off, I want to say you sound... Let's get it started and hit... Ha! Let's get it... Okay. Okay, you sounded very, like, commercial. Like commercial? In that intro. (laughs) I don't know. Did you like that? Was that good? Like, sometimes I sit in front of a mirror, and I practice my studio voice. Like, I wouldn't doubt that. Hello, welcome, guys. I would not doubt that. No, I really don't. Maybe I should. I don't know. No, you're you're, you're, (laughs) good. We could do... Well, we could do a adventure challenge game off, and I could be a host, and we could host the game off. Oh, like, yeah. I don't even know what that would look like. I just threw that. That's random, right off the top of my head, just having a little fun this Friday. You Or you could just be a voice for, like, audiobooks or something. But. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, Mary all right. had a little lamb. No, that's <laughs> not like, cool. No, this is a kid's book. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. <laughs> This be this, more excited. That was my fault, totally, guys. I'm so sorry that I took that left, and then he kept taking it more left. So <laughs> it's kind of like NASCAR, right? Do they go left or do they, they go right? Today's go. episode is. Right. I'm excited about it. You're still going left. I'm trying to bring it back. <laughs> bring it back in. Bring it back in, please. So today's episode is another good one. It's not only something that is a cool adventure challenge, like the fact that adventure challenge. Put this in there because this is something we believe in like if you hear us talk in any of our stuff we talk about the five love languages so when we scratched this date off we were like what we kind of we do this we did the love language test way 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 back when we first got married yeah and that that was the you know so whenever we if, if you're new to this which you may not be or you may but the events challenge is just a really cool product they offer different books out there and basically the books is full of 50 scratch off dates so you can do it they have a couples edition they have a family edition solo edition they got an in bed edition we got ours in and then they even have a new one that is out or coming out but it is a cooking edition date edition so yeah, they have a lot of cool. cool fun products to where you open them up you scratch it off and it gives you some it's like a new adventure that you have to go do and it normally gives you price ranges it kind of tells you about the mood it's going to be in how long it's going to take so you know which one you and whoever you're scratching it off with knows okay yeah let's do this one let's scratch it off and find what our new adventure is going to be so it's really cool and then beside it it's got a place where you can put a picture that way it ends up being a photo album at the end of you going back and looking at these 50 fun things you did that you were being intentional having fun so we did we scratched ours off we always like doing these and kind of bringing them to the table for you that way you can kind of see how we did them or you know giving you some ideas and it's just a really fun thing so you know check check the adventure challenge out we will we definitely put our affiliate link and everything down there for you if you want to get it well our listeners get 10 percent off on that product but it's really cool but that's not what this is about. This is about our date. That was so a side we, note. Yeah, that was like, I don't even know, you know, I just went with it. But so we're scratching this off. We came together and it's like, okay, we, we found that, you know, with, with being a couple, especially in the Belinda family, it you got to be intentional with each other. And that's what we love about this product is it helps keep us focused on being intentional to continue working on our relationship, yeah. building it. Even after almost 15 years, you still have to work at it and you still mm-hmm. have to continue growing and building. So, you know, you want it to be fun and exciting. That's why we got married and that's why we wanted to do life together. So uh, this helps us do that. So, you know, we opened this up and we scratched it off and boom, it's like, go take the five love languages quiz. And then we were like, oh, we already did it's that. Like, so, oh, hey. <laughs> This is cool. Like, we believe in this. Yes. <laughs> so it was a really cool kind of thing that, 
You but know. they give you like suggestions to like you're going and you're taking the quiz. So just so you know, you go online, you just type in five love languages and they have online quiz for you to take. You free. take it. It's free yeah. quizzes and everything. Completely free. They have a book and it has the quiz in it as well. We live in a you know modern day with technology, so why not just do it right there on the phone? So you go and you click through that and then it spits out these results and tells you like how do you receive love? Because we all receive love and give love in different ways. And how you receive love may not necessarily be the way that you show love naturally. Now, it could be, you know, you step outside of your comfort zone and do things differently to show someone else and speak their love language. But we all have this natural tendency of how we automatically, like, naturally receive love and how we automatically, naturally give love. That's true. And the power is our partner knowing their love language, now we can help meet them on their level because the way that we may receive love ourselves or want to receive love may not be the way that they are. And yet we use that way of, of doing, of trying to show love and they don't receive it as well. And that's a lot of the problem in blended families is, you know, we're not meeting them on their level, but that's because we don't know their level yet, right? And we barely know our level sometimes. So it's really eye-opening. And the five love languages, of course, there's five of them. And most of the time we're a mixture of a lot of them with being heavy in one or two different sections or things of that, right? So it's really powerful. So it's it's a great thing if you're a married couple, if, especially in a blended family, you know, go take the five love language quiz. Know how you give and receive love as well as your spouse know how they give and receive love because it's really powerful. But then it's kind of fun too. It's kind of yeah. fun whenever you, you know it and you're like, oh, I've been giving you all these gifts. And you're like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> because yours isn't gift giving, you know, and it's not gift receiving, you know, that's not your thing. It's like you, you, you like it, but it's just like, eh. Yeah, so. we're going to go like deeper to the love language, which is how you can use that with your children and all this on another episode. Today, we really wanted to highlight the fact because Adventure Challenge had it in the book, on how you can use this with your spouse and even planning your dates. And that's how the Adventure Challenge has it laid out is like you take the test and then you find out, okay, what are your main love languages? And then you come together and you plan a date from that. And it is so powerful, like Randall is saying, because you may be trying to show love all day long and if it's not in the language that they're receiving and then y'all are butting heads, you're like, I went through all of this trouble to go find this gift and give it to you. And if their love language, which gift receiving is not high on my list, if they went through all that trouble and then you're getting it and you're like, eh, even though you do give really good gifts and I, even though love, the gift giving is not my love language. Well, thank you for saying that. I you that. give really good gifts. I feel gifts. like I just stepped up on a pedestal right now, yes. guys. So thank you. <laughs> <laughs> if we got nothing else from this podcast today. Then he got a good, like, <laughs> attaboy. Um, so he does well even speaking that even when it's not my love language. But I'm so talking to those that are trying so hard and whatever you're doing. Like in the beginning of our marriage, he would do things around the house to, well, he was just doing them really because they needed to be done. But for me, it was a shot at me because the my lower love language is acts of service. And my ways of showing love is giving acts of service. So that could be like when your kids need something or your spouse needs something, you go and you do that task for them. And that's how you're showing you love them. So when Randall would pick up a broom and sweep the kitchen, I would take it as a personal hit instead of it, oh, he's, you know, he's showing me he loves me by doing this. When I have friends when I say that to them they're like you are crazy I would like fall over dead if my husband picked up a broom and swept I would be so overjoyed with excitement I would love for my husband to do something like that and I'm like not me me it takes it makes me feel like I'm not a good wife because I'm not sweeping the floor fast enough that he has to step up and so I'm like okay she gets mad if I sweep or clean score <laughs> that's just built into my personality of we course, work but. that in through counseling <laughs> yeah. so now we're better <laughs> we're better at it but it is powerful and so the cool thing is so what we did we've taken this quiz before in the past but the thing is we all change we change and we adapt life happens you go through the bends and the turns of the roads of life and you start 
changing and, and growing in certain areas. And so other things become important and other things become less important and things like that. So the power in this is being able to retake it. And so as a couple coming back later, maybe you took it two, three years ago. Well, let's do it again. Do it again. Kind of see where you're at. See where you score now. And there's power whenever you do that. And so that's kind of what we did. We scratched it off and we were so excited. And it's like, man, this is awesome. They believe in the love languages as well. And there's power in that. Okay, well, let's go take the quiz again. Okay, yeah, let's do that. And so that, that was my kind of voice of what, was what we did. Really excited that was really that was, yeah, that was my dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> and so we, we did. We went and we retook it. But what, we found something else kind of cool. Yeah, well, so when we were in the process of retaking it online, uh, I stumbled upon that they have an app now. So what's really neat is that you can download this download download <laughs> you can this, download this app. love nudge app that's based off the five love languages. It's through the five love languages. And so I recommend go there first. Go download the app first because I ended up taking the quiz twice. Because in this app it gives you the ability to take the quiz and then you can share like your app is compatible with your significant others phone and their app as well and so you're getting to see and they do it in these like bright pie charts so you can see like this is you know the physical touch is their biggest bulk in their love language if that just sounded inappropriate <laughs> <laughs> physical touch. Okay, okay we won't go any moving uh, on or like if words of affirmation are like for us we have three that are like pretty equal in there and then two like acts of service and gifts are very small on our love language. It's funny that we're comparable in that area, but it shares these pie charts and then it's even, oh man, I could probably go on all day talking about this app. <laughs> it is so cool because not only does it show you their results and your results and y'all can, you could be checking in on your app and say like how full your love tank is with like a little sliding bar. They, <laughs> Which we just found out before we came on, we looked at our love nudge app where we're at and she is very full in her tank, and I am on empty. That's so because you never filled I, yours I out. Start, I started thinking, I'm like, well, that's why I feel the way I do, and, and say, nobody knows the trouble I've, I've seen. seen. Okay, actually, no, that's <laughs> because my, I'm on empty. Yes. That's not good. I'm like empty on my love tank. I would say. I need some love, baby. I came behind you during our workout and grabbed your butt. This oh, <laughs> whoa, we're sharing everything. We're just getting all transparent today. It is a fun Friday, isn't it? So see, these are the fun things you get to do with okay. as being a couple. So right. I'm gonna so, I'm gonna say um, a weird, funny story real quick, and then we're gonna go back into the app. You have no idea. Huh? I have no idea. I'm no little, idea. I'm okay. excited. Our our daughter Riley, the older Riley, his daughter, she has a sister from her other side of the family, and her sister actually asked her, "Do your parents have sex?" Oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> and she's like, "Why would you ask me that?" She's like, "I don't know. It just seems they they don't have much PDA. We don't do PDA a whole lot in public. We don't, but we do." Behind the scenes. Behind the scenes. <clears throat> and so it's funny. I was like, does she not listen to our podcast? We just did a whole podcast on In Bed from the Adventure Challenge. <laughs> so, uh, but it's also very awkward and weird that your children and their siblings <laughs> are talking about that. Are asking these questions. So kudos mm -hmm. to us for having a very healthy, um, intimacy. intimate, I was looking for a better word, intimacy, intimacy level that we are so like ninja stealth mode that the kids have zero idea that it's we going to take are place. love ninjas. We are love ninjas. <laughs> there we go. We are coining that. We are love ninjas. There you go. So and you can succeed awesome. in that. So be a love ninja <laughs> in your relationship. Go out there and just go be a love ninja and do that with the five love languages. That's yes. where it all starts. So back, back. Did you to, see how we segued? Yeah, I see how right you did back that. Into that. So hey, back. we'll be back momentarily. Check out this announcement. Are you tired of complaining about your blended family and you just want to start enjoying it? Scarlett and Randall here, and that's where I was several years ago until Randall and I, we began to start searching and seeking out solutions for our family. We knew that we wanted this to be a success, but we didn't know how to get there. So we began searching and finding different resources. 
So we created this mom's quick guide to blending her step family. It's a five step process for blending success. We took all the things that we've learned over the years and we put it in this one guide for you so that you can stop complaining about it like I was and start enjoying your family. There's so much power whenever we actually start taking some of these steps. You see the momentum shift in your family. You see so much better results, more blessings. That's what we had found out whenever we started going through it because things weren't working as good as we want. Things were okay, but we wanted it better. And whenever we started doing these things, man, we saw such a change. And we want that for your family as well. We want you to have this, this guide. It's five simple steps, five things that you can do that can help get you those results that you want. And right now, whenever you get your copy today, we're throwing in some extra bonuses just to sweeten the deal for you. So go get your copy with all the bonuses while we still have this offer going. The link will be in the show notes below. Now back to this episode. So back to the app. So you do have this thing in there that can give these love nudges to your partner. And they have like, it has like a drop down menu. So say, Um, Words of affirmation is your partner's main love language. You click on like that part. God, he's thinking something. You click on that and it gives you so many different ideas on how you can share words of affirmation, like leaving a sticky note or sending them a text. Just different things that you can do that is building them up like that. He's just like, he's he's like (laughs) stirring on the inside, ready to say something. What do you need to say, my love? Well, I'm sorry but I am envisioning right now your phone going off about midday with a reminder, give your spouse a hug, a surprise (laughs) hug. And so she picks up her, we hear her phone go off and then she looks at it, she puts it down and walks to me and just like, hey, and hugs me and walks away. At first I was being more surprised. It was supposed to be a surprise hug. One of his main things is physical touch. And I was just testing the app out I didn't realize that I was scheduling a surprise hug every day for one o'clock so at one o'clock in the beginning it would go off and he might be sitting at his desk and I would come up behind him and start just massaging his shoulders a little bit you didn't know then because I wasn't telling you but then it sort of became a joke because it would go off and be like "Ah, it's time for your surprise hug says come let me give you a hug (laughs) and I'm a really bad hugger so I'm like more of a go in and tap like he hey bro <laughs> tap, he tap. called me out because he says i come in for a hug like a sad puppy <laughs> unsure if they're going to take my hug from me <laughs> would you accept me <laughs> <laughs> and so now i'm even more awkward from it and i do like this this tap tap bro thing like going in like double tap and then i'm a hug and release and i know that some people really like to embrace in a hug but I'm not. We prayed this morning in a hug. I'm not. I can't remember why we were hugging. Yeah. Well, we we prayed just to get warm and everything because it was a little chilly. <laughs> okay. And so we we got warm and and we just ended up just in a hug and praying together. And so prayed. that was kind of cool, actually. It was kind of yeah. It was yeah. kind of cool. That was different though. Yeah. So and then just. Uh, Anyways, I was going to go. <laughs> <laughs> but it is powerful, right? So the love nudge is. It's a really cool thing. The app is really neat. So they've put in so many little bells and whistles to where it can send you notifications. And and if you're needing a little extra uh, of one of your love languages. Tank is a little empty. So what we knew about each other is both of us are big on words of affirmation. And we're both big on the physical touch. Like... Now, when we say physical touch, that doesn't mean bow, chicken, wow, wow, wow. It doesn't, it doesn't mean, I mean, that's part of it, right? But it's, it's that intimacy. And intimacy, there's so much to it, right? It is the physical touch. It is the hugs. It is the, the uh, just massages. It, it is the, you, you know, the just surprise being there. little kid. And, okay, I was talking about this on Prayers for My Coming mom. and sitting next to you and stuff like that. You have been doing that lately. I know. You've been really good at I've that. I've been filling your tank, baby. You've been filling my tank. <laughs> so I was talking about this on Prayers for a Mom as my gratitude a couple of days ago. Um, so we were passing each other in the kitchen the other day, and we always do this like weird like back and forth dance because we we're both trying to like accommodate the other person walking through the room. And so then he just like kind of grabbed me and pulled me back and gave me a kiss. And it wasn't like a you know French kiss, sloppy kiss, any kind of. It was just like a nice 
you know, meaningful kiss, and then he went about his business, and then he, it left me washing dishes with just a smile on my face, and just, <laughs> you know, and it really, I mean, set the mood for the rest of the day, and I was like, okay, you know, I, I see you, I, you know, I feel you too, and so it just, one of those things, it's so simple, it's the simplest of things, and I say, and I mentioned this on Prayers from a Mom too, because if you're like, I wish my husband did that. Well, the, and if you don't know what she's talking about, Prayers from a Mom is a Another podcast that she hosts, that's, uh, we'll just give a quick little plug, but yeah. that is a Monday through Thursday uh, devotion that, that she does. And she's been doing it for many years. We finally put it on a podcast platform along with the live that she's doing. So that there's just, it, it's, there's so much power whenever kids, whenever moms come together and they pray over their kids, right? There's so much power when we all pray over our kids, but but that's basically what it is. It's kind of taking that a devotion, talking on scripture, and then praying that over your kids. So it's an awesome way to connect. There's so much power in that. So when she says prayers from a mom, yes, thank you. now you know what Sorry, we're Sorry, thank you for that about. little plug, honey. Yeah, and go. we do a gratitude every morning just to get our mindset right on the good things that are happening in our life and the blessings instead of always being focused on the things that are not quite going right. But those simple things, or what I was saying before you gave the plug, is he doesn't do that all the time and that's why it means so much when he does and you know anything that you do over in abundance like my surprise hug then it's like okay like you're expecting <laughs> it so you gotta like mix it up a little bit and that's what's cool about the love languages and especially this app is that you can go and get these different ideas and try different things like for christmas he gave me this jar because my love language is words of affirmation he took all of these like he I don't know. You typed them out on the computer. I don't know if you found them on Pinterest. Or... No, I came up with all you those. Came up? Okay. I did. Well, that, man, I did. you're I just... came up with all those, and I, I put them. It, it was. It was. I created this, right? So it was just like this thing that um, just with sections, and in each section, I had just a little word of encouragement that you know, I just took a moment to, you know, what what's something that I love about her, something that I want to tell her, or, or something like that, and I I tried to hit a whole spectrum of different things, so it's not just focused on one area. So, you know, just, just kind of doing that. And, uh, yeah, I, I printed that out and cut each one out and folded them up, put them in a jar and just kind of uh, put a little ribbon around the jar. And so Yeah, for, he's, like, put so much detail yeah. into it. It's so sweet. Now, like, you know, when my love tank is getting empty or I'm just needing a little extra, I just pull something out and read it and then put it back in there. And it, I even put on there, I said, for the times I don't say it. So, I guess. Uh, hopeless romantic, look at that. Yes, and but, in your fancy mm, handwriting too. Your yeah. Calligraphy. There it is. So, so yeah, that, that was, but that was also me knowing your love language, right? And that's the power in knowing each other's love language because she received that really well because that's super high on her list. She... That's, that's one of the big top things. And so even if when gift giving comes around, you know, I'm keeping her love languages in mind saying, you know, I could give her just a random thing or trinket or something. She'd love it for sure. But if I can also maybe one up that in her love language, she's going to really appreciate that so much more. And whenever we know each other's love language, that's, that's the power behind it. And we love that adventure challenge through that in the book because when we did it, it just kind of brought us back to it again to where that helped us discover the Love Nudge app and things yeah. of that that we probably wouldn't have and allowed us just to kind of dive into it a little further. And and the, the scratch off, it also encourages you just so if you're thinking this, it says to take those like the top love language and then come together and plan a date with each other that's really highlighting those um, those love languages that are highest for them and then to do that date within one week so it does give you a challenge in that not just knowing because knowing is half of the battle right yeah. but then actually doing something about it it even says you know write it on a piece of paper and stick it on your mirror or somewhere that you see often so you just have that fresh in your mind of this is their love language and then just take these moments like we're saying like you know randall's been doing amazing at lately oh, well, thank <laughs> and, you. Thank and you. Speaking that love language them to really just build them and encourage your spouse in that area. Yeah, great thing. It, it was amazing. Whenever we scratched it off, it, it was like, oh, this is awesome. So that is that was in the Adventure Challenge. That was our, our last Adventure Challenge date. So take that. Use that. Go get the Love Nudge app and connect it with your partner. That way y'all are in sync. Uh, if I had like 
Bye, 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 bye. I knew you were going that. I knew you were going. <laughs> so, you know, that puts you together and just a whole new level of connection. And that's amazing because when you both are connecting in your blend of family, it makes you stronger as a core unit, which your kids benefit from that. Your kids will start blending faster because of that. So there's so much power in the five love languages. So go do it. Yes. Do it. Just do it. But yeah, so uh, check out Adventure Challenge. If you don't have a book, if you don't have one of their books, we'll put the link down below so you can go check out their website, see everything that they have to offer. It really is why we love it so much is because it does put that intentionality in mm -hmm. making uh, date nights yes. and spending time and together priority. important, but it also makes it fun and exciting. Instead, and a surprise for yeah, both of you. Instead of just falling into the same routine of what are we going to do today? I don't know. Let's go watch this movie or let's, let's go to our favorite restaurant. Maybe that, that's awesome, right? But this just adds that little extra spice now. So you still get to do all the other things, but then maybe one of your dates now is going to be a scratch off. You're going to scratch it off and come together. And we found so much fun just doing this with us. You know, it, it's, there's it, we really have. We, we've enjoyed it. So go check it out. Go check out their website. They've got everything there. Our listeners get 10% off for us being affiliates with them. So check it out and just see if maybe that's something that you and your family could enjoy as well. So love languages. Y'all try it out. Go get the Love Nudge app. It's fun. It's awesome. Meet your spouse with their love language. It's really powerful. Amen. Amen. <laughs> awesome. Guys. Have a good Friday. We will see you on the next one. Later. Hey, thanks for joining us for another fun Friday here at Enjoying Your Blended Family. All the links we talked about today are in the show notes. And if you enjoyed listening, be sure to subscribe because it's free and it lets you know when we have another episode out for you to listen to. And if you don't mind helping us out so we can start reaching more people, leave us a rating and review. You never know when we'll give you a shout out. Until next time, have fun being intentional and remember to enjoy the moment.